horse. I don't particularly like you right now. See? It's a tiny little church. Tiny church. Everything's tiny. Oh. Can I go in? It's like a frog church. Why would you let me come in here? I'll be very quiet and get away quickly. Quickly. Sea battles. Hard. You're going down, sir. You're going down. I don't know. Howdy. Hi. What you doing here? You um, looking for a friend? No, I'm looking for I'll be fish. your friend. <laughs> If you let me, folks don't don't normally want to be my friend. Why not? What's wrong with you? Okay. So, you hungry, huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come on. Okay. I like food. Now come here. <laughs> Uh oh. Don't you hate old son? What is this? Don't hate him. Oh, you struggled and you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> pet? I'm not nobody's pet. See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. I knew this was a bad idea. Why go talk to a stranger in the woods? What do you do to me? I swear it had smoke coming out the chimney like it was an actual house you can go in. <laughs> okay, we're just climbing. Then... Can't smack the windows out. I don't think I'm allowed in. That was totally a way in. Hold on. The whole house might not be able to be gotten into, but that one spot I think you can. Cause why else would there be a light on? What did I find? Oh my god, what did I find? The man bear pig. What? It's got like four or five arms. Or six. I don't even know. So am I going to finish this, like, putting it together? Is that what's going to happen? Let me see what else I can find. 
Nothing. Nothing. Stuff I can steal. I guess nothing. Bunch of nothing. I can't have any more of this item. It's a crocodile. A croco... I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm confused. Crocodile badger. I don't want to expect it yet. I'm looking. I'm staying away from it. I'll look at it later. Let me finish looking at everything in the room. What? What's the other side of the skull made out of? I guess that's a boar skull? I don't even know. Oh, it flipped over. No one writes on the back piece of paper. The back piece of paper are always useful. This dude likes crocodiles. Bear heart. So is this saying all the stuff I need? What if I have everything right now? There's no letter. Well this is like the best thing to find right before Halloween. Wings. Or the feathers. The vulture. Okay. Nothing on the back. Yeah, I should be able to take that. I know I need healing potions. this door now. Nope. <laughs> Inspect the corpse. Do it. Look at it. Man-made mutant. He's going to draw it? Oh, you're a good artist. I've like, seen the show gang, so I was like, why would I just show my gang? So I guess I can't do anything to it. I thought it was just telling me stuff I need to put in it to bring it back to life. Well, that's weird. And very disturbing. Let's see, is there anything else I missed? Any letters hidden? Saying close, right? Close filing cabinet, close filing cabinet, anything in the chimney? And you better not come to life when I go running away. Ew. I will have to come back and hunt you. That was scary. As soon as he jumped out, he pulled out his guns. That was a weird haunted house. It even shows the picture. It's just like that right there. I guess this is a mark. And there's something I have to do in town. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Yeah. I'm interested in knowing what this is. What's up, ticket taker? Let's do this. What's the show? Take it for one, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. That's a movie. 
take. I'm not just gonna take people's stuff. I wanna talk to that guy. Oh, it's a cartoon! I'm gonna tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream. Our tail, the bear's tongue's really like that. Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind He was not was. sad. The animals of the fish. forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-crawling, or you, since you're into eating your friend. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. <laughs> then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. How about Bear just eat them all? Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just Whoa. ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. I got really morbid. Is that the only movie? I paid 50 cent. I think I deserve another movie. Don't buy a ticket. In any of the doors beside the booth. Okay. But what did I buy a ticket to? Did I just take my gun out? Yeah, they better not start without me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to share with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring man flight. through the heavens in flying machines, so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle, but I assure you everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelties and injustices of travel by horse, wagon, or locomotive. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth. But I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claims. For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers. But a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce Oars can be used in the skies to hasten your voyage and keep the passengers active while they travel. 
near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can... I want a flying donkey. And ride away. Where do I get a flying donkey? Incredible contraption. One can enjoy some popcorn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach robberies will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight achieved by performers in the circus. Mr. Nichols has perfected Do a cannon? The sky cannon. <laughs> Passengers simply walk up the steps, relax into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The lame and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows and are... And I believe this is a real movie from back then. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear Elliot, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the future heavens. Future is we Kevin. We are going to join him up there by and by. When in doubt, Cannon. That was interesting. Alright, everybody get out. This is my theater now. <laughs>